Praise the Lord, my Lord, the mightiest, mightiest prophet of the Lord, please. Well, I bless the people again yesterday. It was a very, very mighty day. The time right now is about 37 minutes past 10 p.m. East African time. And yesterday was such a monumental day. The only country on the face of the earth right now that is celebrating the visitation of God the Father in the ancient cloud, the most grateful cloud of God Almighty, the cloud that visited on Mount Sinai and also led the children of Israel all the way into the promised land. Very, very powerful time. I've seen the processions that were taking place. Every town, every county had processions with big banners commemorating the visitation of Yahweh. Very, very powerful. The work that uh, the Blessed Senior Archbishop by the Jedi Joe Chuck has put in place. Because as you know, we are very busy right now beginning to prepare for the mission for India. And uh, all of a sudden, we woke up to the fact that every county was celebrating and process, doing procession. That, that was very mighty indeed. And so now, uh, yesterday, blessed people, on that specific special day, the Lord Almighty Jehovah Yahweh visited with his servants in a very, very unique way, very mighty. Only the second time the Lord has done that. The second time he has done that in this visitation, blessed people, that happened yesterday. Uh, in that visitation, I was sitting there reading the Bible in the evening, about 10 o'clock or so, like now, and reading the Bible, and then I fell asleep. And when I fell asleep, all of a sudden, the Lord passed by, and I could see His glory. He showed me the glory beginning from the person of God the Father. The person of God the Father. I could see the glorious garment up to slightly above, I mean close to his knee, and uh, it passed by very glorious and disappeared shortly, passed by where I was sitting in the sleep. Super glorious garment, everything radiated. Now, the last time this happened was about 2003, when he was walking with me and showing me some parts of the temple of the Lord, and how the temple of the Lord should be built, the tremendous temple, the millennial temple, how it should be built. And he was showing me the different compartments. Remember, it was for 32 nights, consecutive nights. Every night he would come, and in that vision, he would begin from where we ended yesterday night, for 32 nights. And then one time, I requested him, I said, inside the vision, may I see he that walks with me, because he used to walk on my right-hand side, as he showed me the temple, on my right-hand side. I requested that I may see him that is always walking with me and showing me this compartment. He's saying, in this place there shall be no place. There's only worship here. And then all these compartments here and so forth. And that day when I requested that, then he deliberately walked a little bit ahead, a little bit ahead. So I saw the radiance of the glory from the garment. And then he walked back again and continued to show me how the temple should be built. So yesterday was yet another moment, very big moment, the day when he came in the cloud of his glory, and then yesterday he passed by. When I fell asleep, he passed by. And I knew that he would visit me yesterday, which is a tremendous, tremendous relationship right there. But time is over, blessed people, the Messiah is coming. And we are living through very tremendous times. The words of my prophecy have shaken Israel very, very seriously over there. Shaking Ukraine, and you see the whole world is shaken. And you can see very clearly that uh, very soon the focus of the Lord will be on Israel to finish the 70th week of judging Israel, the judgment of God that he spoke 70 weeks of Daniel for judging Israel and restoring her. So very soon the 70th week will start. But you see, before that starts, the church must be taken up into rapture, into the kingdom of God Almighty. So this is a very, very powerful time like none other. And all people need to make gains and prepare for the glorious kingdom of God Almighty. The kingdom of Yahweh, Jehovah, my friend. But again, yesterday was a very, very unique day, very extraordinary day. In a very, very spectacular and magnificent visitation, the Lord Almighty, He walked by me. I fell asleep. I was reading the Bible and fell asleep. And the Lord God the Father, the person of God the Father, remember He has spoken with me. 
even before the COVID came, the ancient of days met me and spoke with me. I shared with you this. But in this particular form of passing by, walking by, uh, it happened yesterday again. And super glorious garment, super, super glorious. And everything radiated. And he walked almost a meter. Very soon, the focus of the Lord will be on Israel to finish the 70th week of judging Israel, the judgment of God that he spoke 70 weeks of Daniel for judging Israel and restoring her before the Antichrist is revealed and the tribulation, Daniel's 70th week takes place, that there must be a temple built in Jerusalem. That's why when you see all these things happening right now on the news, it will end up with a temple being built for Israel. Israel must, all this you see in your news, the culmination is that Israel must end up with its own temple. Because right now, the place where the temple used to be, there is a mosque. But all this you see happening must end up with a temple. And in that temple, they must go back. They are going to go back to the old sacrifice, the old sacrifice that I introduced to them. They are going to go back there. The Lord showed me that in the tremendous vision, the tribulation temple. That's why when you see... All these things happening right now on the news. It will end up with the temple being built for Israel. Time is over, blessed people. The Messiah is coming. Moses, a true prophet sent from on high.